Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a get ready with me trying out new makeup. I have the new Hourglass setting spray. I have some new Viseart, Givenchy, Gucci. I have some Becca Cosmetics, Viseart. I have quite a few new things and I also thought this would be a good time to sit down, chat with you guys, let you guys know what's going on in my life, give you some updates to talk about the weather. <laughs> But if you want to see how I created this look and the products that I used, just keep watching. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know I want this section out of my face. Uh, I don't even know what to do with this much hair. What do you do with this much hair? All right, I've got myself situated, and I'm going to tell you what is going on. I'm not just playing with wigs anymore. Like, that was the initial intent. But anyway, I'm going to get into it. But first, I need to set my foundation. I already have my foundation on. I am wearing my Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue SPF 45 moisturizing foundation. <laughs> Did I get that right? Moisturizing makeup. Close enough. I actually wanted to test out a new foundation. I have a new foundation here. Technically, I mean, it's new in box. However, it's not a new foundation to the market. So I was like, you know what? I don't even know what I'm doing with this. I don't know how to put makeup on with a wig on, one glued to my head. I'm, I don't know how to do this. So, you know, safer bet anyway is to go in with a foundation and then uh, go in with your powder. So I've already concealed and set this area, but I need to set the rest of my face. And I have a brand new powder from Gucci. I've actually been trying to find a powder to test out for a while and everything has cornstarch in it or some type of something that will break out my skin. And I didn't see the ingredients to this before I purchased it, but I purchased it. And of course, it does have cornstarch in there, so just be aware. This is the Gucci Poto Debut. I don't know, number three. <laughs> it comes in this little sleeve like Chanel and Tom Ford. And then this is the package. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. Beautiful Lux. A tooth. It's already too bad that I know I'm not going to be able to use this. But you open it up like so. And I have the number three. It has Gucci imprinted into the powder. I have a mirror. And then let's see. Is there? Yes. Yeah, so you open this up. And there's a little Gucci puff. <laughs> I'm not going to use that today. There is a fragrance to it. It kind of smells like some of their perfumes. Not overboard but it's definitely there. I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Master Face to use this. Uh, I feel like I have to use smaller brushes now. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is the deal. I know that you guys have seen me use wigs before, or at least one, and I've talked about a certain wig company, uh, Milia, My, I don't know. I talked about it in My Favorites and Fails, and they were a fail company, I mean terrible. Good news is I did win my dispute with PayPal. They sided with me. They were so sketch, you guys. Let me get back to this powder. Now that I'm putting it on my face, I smell the fragrance more, so yeah, just a little update there. I don't have any more product on my brush. I'm just kind of making sure it's all meshed where it needs to be. <laughs> Getting hair in my brush. <laughs> so before I was initially just going to be testing out wigs, playing with them, I had no intentions of actually growing out my hair and I don't want to, but I'm having some issues. Before I move on to my issues, let's get into bronzer. I picked up two of the new Guerlain bronzers. These are matte and I have the shade medium and the shade light. I have tried and tried and tried Guerlain and <laughs> I keep picking up like the special edition ones and they haven't been working out for me. These look promising. The packaging is beautiful, not throwing this. Oh, I love seeing that through, it's so beautiful. Okay, which shade? This is the medium. And let me do a little swatch. Hmm. That has a definitely has a scent to it as well. Let's see. I didn't know what color to get, so I just got them both. I got 20% off because I got them during the sale from Sephora. I'm like, why not? And I figured that if the medium was too dark now, it would probably match me during the summer. This is the light. So there's definitely a difference there. 
Um, I'm gonna start off with the light and then move to the dark if I need to. Royal and Lang Nickel, BOM 36. So I noticed the last couple times that I had bleached my hair, you know, my hair is shaved, it's down to a one. I've started keeping it at a one, the guard. And I started noticing that I was having issues with my scalp becoming sensitive. And I've been bleaching it once a week for two and a half years. So I think that it's probably time to give my scalp a break because I got these like little red dots all over my head and it happened two or three times. So not like a chemical burn all over, but I would think that those are just tiny either irritation or tiny little chemical burns. And I know that that can lead to damaging your hair follicle. You can have like little bald spots. So I was like, yeah, you know, I want to have a buzzed head, but I didn't want to lose my hair completely. So I decided that I was just going to go with this whole wig thing which is very, very new to me. I don't know what I'm doing. So if you're seeing something and you're like, <laughs> Mel, that doesn't look good, give me some time. Or, you know, lead me to a video that's gonna give me some tips. I'm trying, I'm trying. This particular wig is from Bellamy. It's Tokyo Styles. And it is amazing, amazing quality. I purchased this myself. I overnighted it. I had, you know, all these problems with the other wigs that I had tried to get. And... I was just like, give me a flippin' wig. And this is amazing. It came curled, but I felt too, I don't know, Kelsey said it best, pageanty. So it just wasn't my vibe. But then once I straightened it and I actually cut a little bit off of it, I like it much better. And this bronzer is the perfect color. I really like this. I'm a little scared to tell you guys what my actual goal is because if I tell people what my goal is, usually it doesn't happen. But I am gonna tell you guys any way. The goal is to have my hair be like right here and have it be like a balayage platinum. So dark root down to white. And I know I can achieve that. It's an easier way for me to have the platinum because if I have the pixie like I used to have, I can't go back in. My hair is so fine that it just breaks off. So I don't want to do that again. Oh my god, this is a lot of hair. Moving on again to blush. Now these are something you guys have probably seen a million times, but it's something that I have never tried. I've always wanted to try them, but I just kept putting them back every single time I would get them. These are from Becca. It's the mineral blush. I have Wild Honey and Songbird. This color is gorgeous. This is Wild Honey and then Songbird. I'm gonna have to look at my palette to see which blush I want to use. Ooh, yeah. That's gorgeous too. They're so soft. Okay, all right, let me show you the eye palette that I'm going to be using and then I'll decide on the blush. This was sent to me by Viziart and it is the new, what are you called, Spritz Edit. Come on, I'm about to, oh my God. <laughs> Tear open the box, goodness gracious. Ooh, I like that it has like little spritz down there. That's cute. Oh, I really like that. Okay, easily amused. Here are the colors. It's very beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like a mixture between the new Shoo Shoo, the Warm Edit. Um, I'm gonna have to look at some other palettes, but this kind of, it looks like there's a few all in one. This shade right here looks like something different and then I really like this color down here. I don't know, I might wanna do something a little bit more on the matte side, so I might stick with the mattes. But this, hmm, I'm so confused as to what blush I wanna use. I don't know which one. I think they could both work. I think I'm gonna now decide on my highlight, which was sent to me from Becca. And this is Own Your Light Limited Edition Shimmering Skin Perfector. Ooh, that packaging. Oh, that's that's pretty. That's real pretty. Okay, so this is more of like a pinky duochrome. All right, let me see. I think this would mesh better with Songbird, but probably stand out more with Wild Honey. So I'm going to go in with Wild Honey. I'm gonna pop this on with a rougher number four. So anyway, back to the hair. I decided that I was going to grow it out. Now I didn't know if I wanted to do just a pixie, but then I decided I really want my platinum. I want to stay platinum. 
And with the pixie, that's just not really possible without me really damaging my hair. And with how often I have to cut the sides, it ends up just not staying that platinum color or breaking. And while I like that cut, I really want the platinum. So I decided to grow it to like a bob with the bayalage. And I really hope I get there. If I don't, I think I'm just going to grow it back out and have it, I don't know if I'm going to do the faux hawk, but at least have it long on top with my natural color. But the goal is to be able to go back to platinum with a bob. We'll see if I get there. And I'm going to document the whole series. So I have shaved my hair completely. It's all the way down. And it's all brown. I took a picture today and I am going to take like a monthly picture and show the progress and how long it takes me to get my hair. And, you know, I will be cutting it in between to keep things nice and pretty. So, it's, I mean, it's not going to be pretty for a little while, <laughs> but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I know how this goes. I never thought I would be growing my hair on camera. That is terrifying to me because if you've grown out your hair before, you know you go through some awkward stages and it's just, you know, it's not fun. So I think that having multiple wigs, being able to play, I bought a bunch of scarves so that I could do like that kind of vibe. And I've got headbands and all kinds of things for this uh, journey. I am so sorry if I'm playing with this. I'm going to work on that because I know that it can be very annoying when people play with their hair. I'm going to try to work on that. Please bear with me because this is so new. Just going back in with the bronzer. I really like this bronzer. I really like it so far. It's nice, <laughs> a redeem for Guerlain and their terracotta bronzers. I finally get it, this is so pretty. On another note, how is the weather for you guys? It has been intense here in Tennessee. We have had so many tornadoes and they keep hitting the same spots over and over again. And it's just like, what is going on? And then we had a storm, we had two storms just back to back and they, the ones that didn't have a tornado still had damaging winds. In Nashville, there's trees down, people without power for three days in a row. It's just, the, the weather has been insane. I was in the pool, 85 degrees, and today is, I think, 50. Yes, it is literally exactly 50 degrees here. I, I don't understand. I'm excited to try this little beauty out. This is from Becca. Like I said, it was sent to me, and it is the... Own Your Light Press Perfector. It is a limited edition. And I'm going to take my Linda Hallberg 306. We're just going to go right on up here. I thought this was going to be dark, but it's not. It actually leans more on the natural side. I want to bump this highlight up a little bit. It's very pretty, but it's more natural. And I want to have something that's a little bit brighter right here and probably on my nose <laughs> so that I can kind of brighten up my face. So I'm going to go in with the Samantha March collaboration with Ofra and I'm going to take, I'm just going to swirl. I'm just going to swirl. I'm going to place this right here. Oh, so pretty. On my nose. Again, going back in with that blush brush, number four, rougher. I'm gonna make sure we don't have a harsh line. To buff, instead of going in with one of my loose powders like my Sicily that I tend to go in with, I'm gonna go back in with the Gucci powder on my master face from Sonia G. I'm just gonna go around the edges. I did not pick up a bunch of product. I just wanna make sure I can soften everything up. This powder is really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Stelazi Large Fluff, number L224. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Tinted Powder in Rosy Light. Just brightening up underneath my eyes, smoothing out those pores just a little bit more. Forehead. Now let's move on to the Spritz palette. Zoeva 227 and this shade. I am going to place this into the crease, transition area. Mm -hmm. 
Sonia G Blender Pro in the last shade in the first row, placing this on the outer corner, bringing it up into the crease. Ooh, this color is really pretty. Just so you guys know, I did set my entire eye today. That's not something I typically do because I like to have maximum pigmentation, but today I wanted my eye to be a little bit softer. So I set the entire eye today. Refer 13, I'm gonna take that same exact shade and just buff it right along the lower lash line. Refer number one and the shade. I'm going to place this right on the outer corner. I like to tap over the lid. I'm going to smoke out this outer corner a little bit. Refer P21 and going in with the very first color. I'm going to tap this on the lid. And then lightly over that red. Same brush, grabbing the shade right beside it, highlighting the brow arch. And then I am going to go add on liner and mascara. Eyes are done. All I did was add on some mascara and a milk boss liner to the top and a rim. And now I need to do my lips. Now I have a few <laughs> things here. So I'm just going to get into this box. I have the new lip gloss set from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This was sent to me. Let me see the shades in here. I'm going to do a little swatcheroo for you guys. Um, I want to update you on my mom as well. I've had several people asking how she was doing. She is doing better than she was. However, she had to stop chemo with everything that's going on, but now she is back in it. So eh, I'm just kind of hoping for the best right now, but she's doing pretty good. I just want to let you guys know. I know a lot of you guys have been asking and I appreciate that so much. I tell her and it makes her happy too. So just letting you guys know. All right. The first one is Sparklevana. That's cute, Sparklevana. <laughs> this one has shimmer in it. Oh, that is really, really pretty. Like, really, really pretty. Okay, love that. And then Peachy with three Ys. This one has a little sparkle, not as much as the last one. This is really pretty as well. But you can see it's lighter, it's more peachy. <laughs> Bella, I love this color. This is like something I would wear all the time. Yeah, that is gorgeous. And then we have a nude. Oh, okay. This is my favorite of all of them. That shade right there. This is a beautiful set though. Let me see what this looks like by itself. Uh-huh. That is definitely a Mel Gloss. Beautiful. This is, I would wear this and just walk out the door. I have three Gucci satin lipsticks here. I think this is what I'm going to end up putting on is this and then one of the Wayne Goss liners. Vintage pink. I ordered three more. That was the limit. <laughs> I was like, let me have some more. This one right here. Look how light that is. This is number 100, which I don't mind it being light because this is something I would definitely end up wearing with just a liner. And the packaging is really, really pretty. I like the packaging. And then we have 101. And the formula is nice as well. I've actually put these on. So the first one has a slightly more pink undertone. This one's more peachy, the 101. They're just, they're very, very light. I don't think that I needed to buy all three of these. <laughs> and then 102. So light, pinky light peachy, a little bit darker, and this is dark. I still mean it's nude and it's light, but this one I would say is more on the neutral side. I think this is the one that I want to try on. Okay, 
We're gonna put this one on, but first I wanna show you this. I've gotten so many lip products, you guys, so I'm sorry. This is something I've actually used several times and I like it, so I wanna show you guys, <laughs> cause I keep wearing it off camera and not on camera. So I wanna show you really quickly, what is this called? The Givenchy La Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm. That got me right there. I was like, ooh, lip balm. And it's like this and this packaging. Oh, again, just so pretty. The shade I have is number 17, Nude Chill. Got the gloss off. And now I'm just going to quickly show you this. I'm sure you can see why I have been wearing this. It's just so good. It's the perfect just throw it on. It's your lips but better. And I just, I love it. It's not too pink. It's not too peach. It's just absolute perfection. Forewarning, if you're going to get this, it does have a minty feel. Not a stingy feel, but a minty feel. And I just reviewed the Wayne Goss glosses. Now, those have a minty feel, but it's less than this. This is a little bit more than what those are. Wayne Goss's Essential Lip Liner in Vintage Pink. And then topping that with Gucci's 102. This is a little bit more nude than I want it to be, so I'm going to go in with one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills glosses. Sparkle Lava, did I say that earlier or did I say something else? I don't remember. <laughs> Still nude, but I feel like we're on a more dimensional nude. I really like the way that this looks, but I'm not done. I have one more thing to try out, and I'm scared to because I do like the way that my makeup looks right now. And also wig. I don't know if you can get setting spray in your wig. Can you? Can, is that something you do? This is the new Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. It says shake well. Make sure I do that, and I'm going to test out this sprayer. Oh, that's, that's a fine mist. Maybe I can get away with it. Let's put all this, all this hair back here and test it out. Get a little Patrick Ta moment. And Beyonce too. <laughs> I mean, I tried it. <laughs> so I think this looks really nice. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin or anything. The mist is really nice as well. It's not it's just not like a bunch of droplets falling on your face. I have zero of those big droplets. I can't stand that. But I do feel like I look a little bit more on the dewy, luminous side. So this is something that I'm going to have to continue to test out. It kind of feels like what would happen if I took my sponge and I applied my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist to that. And that's how I like to apply that product so I don't end up too luminous. And I feel like this is what it looks like after I use my sponge to apply that. That's the best way I can describe it. But it looks really nice and healthy. Now I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on everything else. First off, the Gucci powder. This is very, very nice. I'm really kind of sad that it has the cornstarch in there because this is something that I would continue to use. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin. It didn't make me dry. It, it It's really pretty, and the color for me is perfect. So if you're a color match to me and you're interested in this, number three is going to be a good one. And the packaging, it's beautiful. This is something that I just... I might not use it all the time, but I might risk it <laughs> and use it as a touch-up powder and see if I end up breaking out if using it that way. I probably will, but I just want, it's really pretty. I love the color. I love the way it looks on my skin. It's just a really nice powder. And then I finally have a Guerlain bronzer that I like. I'm so excited about this. And I have two colors. So I have one for the winter, which <laughs> I know it's not winter anymore, but it's cold outside right now. So I have one for when I am lighter. And then I have one for when I am darker. The medium is definitely going to be my summer shade. But this light color it, I think it looks perfect. I think it's so pretty. It blended out well. There is fragrance. I think just about everything I tried today has some fragrance in it. But these are the two side by side. And in case you're curious, if you are darker than me, you're definitely going to want to go with the medium. But I think that even, like I'm an NC 25, 27, and this works. But I don't know that I would say any darker than that for the light one. Becca's Wild Honey Blush. 
beautiful. It went on the skin beautiful. I really enjoy this. I'm definitely going to have to check out Songbird at some other point. And then the Becca highlighter that was sent to me, Own Your Light. This is gorgeous, but it is a little bit more on the natural side than what I thought it was going to be. So I did have to bump it up. However, if you are deeper than me, then you're probably going to get a little bit more of that reflect than I did because it is a slightly darker illuminator. Let me show you on my finger. See, that's really pretty, but it's going to be prettier and show up better on somebody who has a tan, deeper or rich complexion. It is pretty, but on me, because it's almost like my skin tone, it's just a little bit more natural. I like it, but I do have to pair it with something else. Moving on to the eyes, the Spritz Edit from Viseart. I feel like everything performed just like I knew that it would. Viseart just does such a great job. And this is a really cute palette. I do think that if you have other palettes, you're probably not going to need this, but it is pretty nonetheless. And I like the look that I got with it today. I want to show you some comparisons just side by side in case anybody is curious. I have the Petite Pro in Apricotine. The closest shade in here is really this one and this one. And I don't think that there are still, yeah, this one's more peachy. This one's more of like a, I don't know, like a yellowy brown. Um, and then like this, I don't know if it's showing up on camera that it looks the same, but they're not. Let me see. This is the last one I want to try. No, those are different. So I, I don't think there's any duplicates, but some similarities there. Here's it up against the Shushu. The coral in here is much more vivid. And then, yeah, nothing else really looks the same in that. And here we have the Warm Edit. And again, I mean, I guess it just looking at it, I thought that it was going to be more similar than what it actually is because even the golds and the more warm tones, they just look different. I'm gonna swatch the golds for you just really quickly. And you can see those are all different. This shade in the Spritz palette looks like it would just be like whatever, but there's something special about it. There's something I really, really enjoy. And then let me get the Rose Edit. There you go. And then the Dark Edit. So really, I mean, I can see some similarities, some tones in there that are similar to other palettes, but overall, when you actually swatch them, it's more different than I thought. I like it so far. I will update you guys on the other shades after I use it some more, but so far, so good. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss Collection. This is beautiful. Every single one of these shades I will use, and I like that they're smaller for me to put in my bag, though I can throw it into my purse. In every single one of these, like I said, I will use these on their own. They're just the perfect nude colors, and I like that they have one that has a little bit more sparkle, and then one with a little bit of sparkle, and then the regular type of glosses, but I just love these colors. And I've been dying to talk about this liquid lip balm from Givenchy. It's it's just so good. I have been wearing this quite a bit, but I wanted to wait to really talk about it until I got on camera and showed you what it looked like. It's just so comfortable and it gives you a little bit of pigmentation, like I said, your lips, but better. I love this. The Gucci lipsticks, I think that these are nice. I like the formula. I like the packaging. Did I need all three? No. Will I use them? Yes. <laughs> Especially in conjunction with liners, which I have to say, I really do enjoy the Wayne Goss ones. I've been using them, especially Vintage Pink. That one is my absolute favorite. But if you haven't watched that video with the lipsticks, the glosses, and the liners, I will leave that link down below. But I didn't need all three of these. I'm gonna use them, but I didn't need all three. And I do think they are a nice formula. Just be careful, because these three are super duper light. Anywho, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.